Hey, Skyler here. I think my soccer game's gonna be canceled. It's been raining all day and the weatherman says there's no end in sight. One thing that can be confusing about measurements is when you hear your neighbors say they checked their gauge and we received two and one-fourth inches of rain or nine-tenths of an inch of rain, while the weatherman says we got 2.25 inches or 0.9 inches. When measurements are reported differently, it's hard to compare them. Now I'm gonna go get my trusty rain gauge and we'll get another problem solved. Wow, there's even more in here than yesterday. The gauge measures three-fourths of an inch of rain. The weatherman said we received 0.75 inches of rain. I'm sorry, but that's a pet peeve of mine. You never say 0.75. You're supposed to say 75 hundredths. Even weather professionals say it incorrectly. With 3 fourths, you see the numerator and the denominator. With 75 hundredths, you only see the numerator. The denominator is determined by place value. In this case, it's hundredths. I could also write it as a fraction. That's why we say 75 hundredths. I'm going to use this grid to compare amounts. This grid represents one inch of rain. Here's my three-fourths of an inch. What if we were to divide this square into 100 equal parts? How many parts would be shaded? Each quarter now has 25 parts, so that's 75 hundredths. They're exactly the same amount. 75 hundredths is 7 tenths and 5 hundredths. Why don't we take a look at one more? The weatherman says that the airport received 0.88 tenths of an inch in one hour. It must have been a downpour. Check this out. Remember what I said about the place value being the denominator for decimals? 8 tenths can be written as 8 tenths. If you use a grid divided into 10 parts, we can shade in 8 columns to represent the rain. I always keep this in mind when I'm working with decimals and fractions. Make sure I don't get soaked. That's another problem solved!